and I might as well stick with Canon. Why not? Well, I'll tell you why not. Hello again, welcome back. It's been a while since we've seen each other here. I just walked in the door from buying a new camera. Yay! And now you might be like, wait a second, Morgan, on the very unofficial travel guides, just a few weeks ago, you, you bought a new camera. How many, how many new cameras do you need? Well, this is a different new camera and- You wanna have a story for you. Most of the stuff I film on the very unofficial travel guides is stuff I filmed with my iPhone. It is actually a really fantastic camera and I really love this television. Phone. I have the XR in uh, product red, so it also, you know, was for a good cause. And I'm really happy with this telephone. I don't want to give it up. I don't want to buy a new one. I don't really, you know, as long as this one works, I'm going to keep it. However, however, I've just realized when I'm watching some of the videos I've made recently over, especially on very unofficial travel guides, that the camera in this for, you know, nowadays where everybody has a super HD television and they're like, you know, 10 feet wide. I just realized that especially the quality during low light situations that this, the selfie camera and the normal camera on my telephone just don't, you know, don't really cut it anymore, could be better. So I started doing a lot of research and I decided I was gonna buy my very first vlogging camera. I've never had a vlogging camera, one of these compact, cameras with a built-in, you know, telephoto, zoomable lens and many settings already pre-programmed. Like I said, I mostly just use my iPhone and for the stuff I film here at home, you know, like in front of the sofa or in my studio in the back, then I have a big Canon DSLR. What's it called again? A D80, I think, or 80D. And that is also a fantastic camera, great quality, but kind of complicated. And so I just decided it's time to be nice to myself and try to make things a little bit easier. Maybe, maybe downsize a little bit and get rid of the ADD and use my telephone just for, you know, telephone stuff and pictures and Instagram and stuff like that. So I bought myself for my birthday, a Canon G7X Mark III. The G7X Mark II is probably one of the most talked about, most popular vlogging cameras ever. And I know a lot of people, even though it's already several years old, a lot of people still use theirs and say it's the best vlogging camera there is. I did a lot of research and I saw that there's a, a newer model, the Mark III, and I decided, okay, I love Canon. I know how the, the menus work and I might as well stick with Canon. Why not? Well, I'll tell you why not. I had seen in a lot of review videos and a lot of comparison videos between the G7X Mark III and the new camera that I got that the G7X Mark III was having some focus issues that it was taking a while to find the focus and then it was moving in and out of focus while people were filming. Of course, not cute, but many people were also talking about a firmware update that recently came out that made things a lot better. And so even though I knew that there was a lot of beef online about this camera, I decided I wanted to get it because it had basically everything on my list of what I wanted in a newer camera, except for a fantastic autofocus. So it arrived uh, the day before my birthday and I was so excited and I unpacked it and I tried it out and there were a lot of things that I really loved about it. Like I said, I know how Canon memory or Canon menus work. So I knew immediately how to turn it on, how to start shooting with it, how to change settings. It was very easy in that sense, but I just, Realize then I did like a, a test vlog and I also filmed an entire sofa time with it and I just kind of realized, okay, autofocus is kind of important. The camera was delivered with the current firmware. It had all the updates in it and it just really, I mean, it was worse than the iPhone and the iPhone doesn't even have a movable lens. You know what I mean? It's just all electronic and the iPhone does so many other things and a camera. And then the Canon camera is just a camera and can't focus. So I decided to send it back and that turned out to be a really, hold on a second. The cat is doing something really crazy. Yes, ma'am. What's happening here? Do you want some attention? I'm sorry, I wanna to talk to my friends. Yeah, just turn your back on me. What is happening over there? See what I mean? See how bad it is in low light conditions? This is why I decided it was time for something new. She just gets so jealous when I talk to somebody else. Anyways, back to the Canon. So I immediately 
contacted customer service in order to send it back. And you know, nowadays where online shopping is so popular, and I mean, here in Germany, we're still on a pretty strict lockdown. You cannot go to the stores to like go in and shop for something. So shopping online is is the only way to shop at the moment. And you know, it's gotten really easy and customer service is usually pretty good. Well, <laughs> not at Canon. It took me over two weeks and four emails and three telephone calls to finally get them to send me the you know, the sticker that I need to send it back to them and get my money back. And these, well, specifically one woman that I talked to in customer service, let's call it customer service, was so awful. She seemed so bored and so indifferent. And she, I, I quickly got the feeling that she was making it as frustrating and difficult as possible for me with the hopes that I would just hang up and she could go back to doing whatever she was doing. And she even made herself a tea while we were on the telephone. Not only could I hear it very clearly, all the steps she was going through, but she even admitted it when I asked her. And if you want to know what I mean about it being frustrating, she asked me, okay, what's your email address? And I told her what it is. Spoiler alert, it's my name. Well, it's a form of my name. And that's, you know, not really a tough name uh, to spell. And then it's Gmail. And she was like, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. You need to spell that for me. And then I didn't even, I didn't only have to spell it for her, but she required me to spell it like in military letters. So not M-O-R. She wanted me to spell it with like, I don't know, what are the military words in, in English? Like, Marco, Otto, Richard, Gerhard, you know, like how pilots talk. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not kidding. And then I even had to spell Gmail for her, Gmail people. So that was my experience with Canon customer service. Really, really awful. Like I said, I felt like they wanted to just make it as hard as possible with the hope that I would eventually just say, ah, oh, screw it, I'll keep the camera. But no, 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 not with me. So finally, I sent that camera back today and I ordered uh, by click and collect. That's one way you can shop here in Hamburg. You can order from the store and then go there and basically like pick it up at the door. And I got a new camera and it's this one. The Sony ZV-1, which is basically the main competition for the Canon G7X Mark II or III. And my friend Matthias Mohr, who's also a really successful YouTuber here in Germany, when I told him that I ordered the Mark III, he was like, oh my gosh, send it back immediately and order this camera. And I kind of wish I had listened to him now. So I'm going to unbox it with you. It, I've never had... I, a, a Sony camera. I've never had a Sony telephone. I don't know if I've ever had a Sony anything. Uh, so this is kind of exciting to me. So it slides out of here. You can see it's officially sealed here, which is good. I was a little bit worried that it wasn't attached to this and that maybe it was already used, but it's not. All right, I need to get something to slit this open. We do have exacto knives here, but I'm close to the kitchen, so this was the quicker way. It's exciting. Got the some documents and manuals here. And then here's the big manual. And where is she? All right, first of all, charging cable or connection cable. Here's a little dead cat for the microphone, which I think is great. The camera is in here, but let's look at the battery. Oh, look at this cute little battery. Oh, isn't that cute? I'm definitely gonna have to order some more of these probably to make it through a day on a ship or at Disney or someplace. All right, here's the camera. Da -da. My first impression is it's a little bit chunkier than the G7X was. And one thing, the one major point about this one that kind of 
uh, yeah, made me want to fall in love with the Canon camera is I prefer when the screen flips up. So that, you know, if you're holding it and want to see what you look like, that it's here. Because I feel like that's compactor and a little bit more stealth. And this one, the screen only flips to the side. But that's still pretty compact. Should put the battery in here and see if there's, if it's charged at all. Let's try it. Press thumbs up, by the way, while I'm doing this. That will really help and write any kind of comment. There's power. Here we go. Oh, is it not a touch screen? Oh, that's right. That's okay. That was another minus point that it is a touch screen, but only for certain functions. So I am in, yes, that is my time zone. No, well, is it, are we now or not? What is the date today? 29th? What time is it? Yes. Oops. There we go. That's what she looks like. So I'm really looking forward to trying this out. Uh, I don't have any trips planned at the moment, but I think this will also be a great camera to use for, yeah, for like the sofa videos and for uh, studio videos and stuff like that. I just, I imagine that it's gonna be much more easy to just set it up, put it on the tripod, press record, and not worry about all the things I have to worry about when I'm using my big Canon 80D. Take a nap, I need to charge your battery. Woo! All right. So thank you everybody for sticking around until the end, if you have, I hope you have. Special thanks to all the channel members here on Guten Morgen. The people who support me uh, uh, for my very unofficial travel guides on Patreon are a big help for the production of these videos. And here on Guten Morgen, if you look under the video, there's a join button and you can join that and also get access to videos and posts that I don't show everybody just for the members. So if you wanna give me a little extra support and help me pay for things, like new cameras, <laughs> so I can make better videos and be more creative and spend less time dealing with the whole technical part of it, then yeah, either check out patreon.com slash very unofficial or, or click on join down here. And also just let me know if you would also like to occasionally see more of these kind of unboxing videos because it's not what I usually do here on Guten Morgen. Have a good week. The Prince of Darkness. Prince of Darkness. The Prince of Darkness. The Prince of Darkness.